The story you are about to see hasn't happened yet. These are scenes from that story that one day will be a reality when men will build a space station that will be used as a research center for the advancement of space travel. A station built by men such as these, men of flesh and blood and families. A new breed of adventurers standing on the threshold of the unknown. So you're taking Lieutenant Smith after all? He seems like the best man for the job. Bill, don't move. Don't move, Bill. Ed, Dan, Bill's suit is caught. One of the crew's space suit is caught between two sections of the space station. Who is it? Lieutenant Smith. complex an undertaking as that of building man's first station in space must, of course, rest on many shoulders. Head of the project, General Robert Hicks, United States Air Force. Colonel Edward McCauley, in charge of training the men who must complete the mission. The mission, to assemble these sections of the space station over a thousand miles from our Earth. Captain Michaels, Captain Forsyth, Lieutenant Smith, Lieutenants Phelps, Ferguson, Simpson, and Wheelwright. Well, that leaves eight of us. From now on, we work, eat, live together until the time comes to choose the four of us who will go on this mission. Dismissed. I'd like to talk to you. Ed, I'm glad I caught you. I like those seven men you picked. I think Captain Forsyth needs some brushing up on inertial navigation, but aside from that, he'll be all right. Um, what about Lieutenant Smith? He's the youngest man in your outfit. He handles himself pretty well. Oh, I have nothing against the boy. But you never can tell what a kid will do in a crisis. Mm. Give it some thought before you pick your final crew. Yes, sir. One thing that won't happen in space, when you're up there, the wrench will float along right beside you. All right, you guys are next. Hey, wait a minute. You're gonna tear in your suit, Captain. That only happens once up there. Even a pinhole and you're dead, like that. Well, Chuck, how would you like to be one of the three guys going up there with that wacky colonel to put this thing together with our hands and no equipment? Yeah, I'd like to see that. Would you like to volunteer? I'm the wacky colonel who's going up there. You know, there's no such thing as weight in space. Once we get it started, we can push that thing around like a toy balloon. All I got to say, Colonel, is keep your hand on that rabbit's foot. All right, sir. Have you made your final choice? Yes, sir. Forsyth, Michaels, and Smith. So you're taking Lieutenant Smith after all? He seems like the best man for the job. No more problems? Uh, we've been over every move hundreds of times. The last bugs were in those automatic couplings. We modified those weeks ago. 
I guess the next move, General, is to uh, go up and try it. In a week from Monday, you take off into space. Yes, sir. Made it. Hello, Paula. We haven't been seeing you around very much lately. I'm sorry, Colonel. It's not too easy for me to get out in company anymore. Well, it won't be long now. I suppose Bill is expecting a boy, huh? It better be. He's already bought a, a pitcher's glove, a baseball bat, and a football. I've never seen a father so proud of his son, especially when he's been born. Oh. Well, that's the easy part. Wait till that kid starts crying at 2 a.m. and then all of a sudden he'll turn out to be your son. Well, I guess I better be getting home, too. Colonel. I know, Paula. Sections of the space station have been loaded into these cargo rockets, which will be sent up into orbit around the Earth at an altitude of 1,075 miles. Cargo rockets well away. Guidance correcting for number two rocket? Yes, sir. Guidance correcting. Moving into orbit. General? Well, oh, gentlemen, we're all ready for you. The rockets are landing right in the groove. We're perfect distance apart. You'll be coming in on the outside. Cargo rocket two in orbit. Well, I guess it's about time. Good luck to all of you. Altitude 1,000 miles, moving into orbit. Take over controls. Stand by for engines off. Standing by. Orbit achieved. Time 1,400. Control confirmed here. In orbit. Engines off. Engines off. Left. Open the observation ports. Check. Just look at that, will you? You can almost reach out and grab a handful of stars. Feeling's always the same. Hey, down there, it's one of our rockets. Yeah, it's number one. There's number two. We made it. Made our rendezvous. All right, let's break up the board session. Remember, we've only got a six-hour air supply, and we better get on that space station. Les, you stand by here, your first relief. Check. Dan, Bill, start unloading number two rocket. I'll take number one. And remember, we're working against time. he would one day be able to live in outer space, depending on the success of Colonel McCauley and his crew. Canaveral Minitrack reports test assembly in perfect orbit. How are they doing? Uh, let me show you, sir. They've unloaded and have assembled these sections. 
Elapsed time, one hour and 57 minutes. Moving in. Slowly now. Not moving from that two, that's three. Okay. Smith, moving interior H1 to H2. Check. Captain Forsyth to control center. Time elapsed three hours. Time remaining three hours. We're ahead of schedule. Control to Captain Forsyth. We've been able to follow your progress. How long till you finish? About 30 minutes is all. Suit is caught. Well, what about it, Colonel? You're in trouble. Your suit's punctured. The airlock coupling is the only thing sealing it. We open that and you're done for. How long will it be? What are you talking about? You know what I mean. You'll be all right as long as you don't tear that sleeve, and we're going to make sure you don't. We're going to latch it to these handles. Hand me your safety line, George. as soon as we arrive at a decision. Give me Dr. Lasker and Major Osborne. Yes, sir. Emergency. Emergency. Get Dr. Lasker and Major Osborne and Major Osborne at engineering safety. Major Osborne standing by. General Hicks speaking. We've got a man whose space suit is caught and punctured between two sections of the space station. I understand, sir. We'll have to rig an escape device that works like an iron lung. We'll get right on it. Yes, sir. Then get it over to launching pad three in a hurry. Empty standby rocket A3 of spare parts and prepare to reload and launch. Yes, sir. Look, we only got a couple hours of oxygen left. I'll never make it out of here. Just tell me how it'll hit me. Stop talking like a fool. I want to know. Okay, if it'll make you feel any better when it happens, it'll be over so fast you'll never know it. Plenty of time. Well, how much would that be? More than 55 minutes, and they're sending up help. Yeah. Listen to me. When the time 
time's up, you're all clearing out. You got that? If you don't, so help me out. I'll yank this sleeve. Lieutenant Smith, I am in charge of this mission. You'll do as you're told. Besides, why don't you shut up and save your air? Oxygen check. 47 minutes. Honolulu Minitrack Station has Macaulay on his scope. Personnel rocket and space station sections moving in perfect polar orbit. Emergency rocket P3 loaded. Start emergency countdown. Launch when ready. Twenty-seven, twenty-six, twenty-five, twenty-four, twenty-three, twenty-two, twenty-one, twenty, nineteen, eighteen, seventeen, sixteen, fifteen, fourteen, thirteen, twelve, eleven, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, fire. escape lock. You'll have to arc weld the lock to the space station shell with Smith inside, then cut around the weld. Got it. It's okay, Bill, and escape lock's on the way. Do we have enough time? We'll make it. Take him some more oxygen. He should be just about out. Don't build up the pressure too much or you'll blow the puncture. Check. Emergency rocket. Canaveral Minitrack reports test assembly in perfect orbit. You're coming in too close. Correct emergency rocket one degree. Trajectory continues on 20. Does not respond to radio guidance. Control Center, advised progress of emergency rocket. Moving at a 20 degree angle of ascent on a collision trajectory. If it doesn't respond to guidance in the next two minutes, it'll have to be detonated. Is it still coming at us? Collision trajectory unaltered. Without it, he hasn't got a chance. General, we're willing to risk it. Alaska Minitrack reports test section, Project Space Station conforming to planned orbit. Did the last Minitrack check on A3? Last Minitrack, A3. Collision trajectory unaltered. leave at 20 hundred hours. You'll need your air supply for re-entry. General, General Hicks. You heard the orders, Colonel.
How much time? Five minutes. Tell Smith not to move. Bill, don't move. Oxygen supply level critical. Repeat, critical. Bill, it's a long shot. I'm going to try this clamp like a target. You've got three minutes. I'm going to cut your space suit between the clamp and the ship. Say a prayer that we don't get a leak in your suit. Strap him in and we'll head for home. No, I'm sorry, Colonel. I still have to say he's too young for the job. I don't know, General. He handles himself pretty well. And yet, on the other hand, you may be right, he is pretty young. You don't know what he'd do in a crisis. 